So what is meant when you have a light curtain setup to include fixed blanking, another subject? Well, fixed blanking is something that's going to be a, a light curtain that's installed, and now whatever tooling in this press application, we're going to have a table that's always going to be in place. It's going to block some beams, so how do we get around by still being able to use the light curtain to turn on knowing that there's beams that are constantly blocked? That's what you're able to do by uh, applying a fixed blank procedure or a fixed blank setup so that it recognizes that consistent blockage that's in that curtain. Uh, this is just a caution here that I'm mentioning that the obstruction is going to have to be uh, taking on the whole width. If a conveyor is only applying blockage and it's only three or four feet wide but you've got your light curtain separated at six feet, you have to fill in that space on the side now that's no longer protected so that no one can reach around that conveyor and get into hazard. Okay, remote fixed blanking is something that uh, is typically used with some of our light curtains. In this case, it's a nice box that you just basically flip a key from run to program, and that's about as long as it takes to program the beams that are blocked, and uh, that's it for, for that type of a product. You can see here there's a model number for that programming accessory, and it's a very easy way of uh, setting up and quickly changing that fixed blank area. Lastly, reduced resolution. What is that? It's called floating blanking. We uh, at Banner call it reduced resolution, but it basically is a way of allowing something that's actually going to be uh, blocking at least a beam or two to still go through the curtain and not cause any type of uh, things that shuts down. Here's an example, a couple of examples. There is a web that's actually going through the uh, light curtain and we do not want that web to cause anything to turn off so you turn on reduced resolution and now it's going to take a bigger object to finally uh, block that curtain. Same thing where if it's on a press and you're wanting to make sure that the tooling and the product that's being bent here does not cause a single beam to be blocked causing a shutdown. You're allowing now for a bigger object to float around in that section so that you will not shut the thing down. The big thing about that is that you've got to make sure it's going to add a little bit to that safety distance now that you have a slightly bigger allowed gap for your hand to get in there. So that's the, the point I want to make on that. Well, I want to thank you for joining us for our series of tech snacks here on safety light curtains. Um, I want to encourage you to follow Banner Engineering both on our YouTube channel and in our LinkedIn page. For, uh, for Steve, myself, Scott, I want to thank you again for joining us.